Well, earlier I asked the Labour MP Graham Allen, who was a critic of military action in Libya, whether he believed the use of the Apaches was a major escalation in Britain's military involvement. We were told that we were going in on a humanitarian mission just to keep people safe in Benghazi. I didn't believe it at the time, and I'm afraid uh, this latest episode just is more mission creep, and I wonder where we're going to be in another 12 weeks. Well, why don't you just see attack helicopters as part of the mission to save human lives? What's wrong with that? Because we've seen uh, the uh, mission creep in terms of what uh, we're going to go after Gaddafi, we want regime change, we've had but not advisors Gaddafi, on the ground. Uh, I just wonder what's next, and this is just yet more. I listened to Lord Dannett, the former chief of the uh, uh, general staff, and he said that this is uh, implied in the terms of uh, what we discussed in Parliament and what the UN discussed. It was never implied. And I think had we known then, when we had that vote in Parliament, I think many, many more colleagues would have expressed disquiet about this uh, expedition to Libya. But the, the UN resolution uh, didn't say no helicopters or, or, you know, we'll only bomb from 20,000 feet. And, and neither, neither did Parliament. Uh, Parliament was pretty clear. It had a, a, a statement from the Foreign Secretary. Uh, we heard from the Prime Minister. There was never the intention at that time uh, to go as far as we've already gone. And my great concern is this is just one more step, and I think we're going to go much further without a clear exit strategy. And in that case, I think Parliament should have a full debate. If, if we followed your advice and stopped the military action, how would you stop Colonel Gaddafi's forces killing people in Benghazi? I don't think that this has been an exercise in trying just to stop Colonel Gaddafi so, uh, killing his own people. But you wouldn't Co stop him, would Colonel you? Colonel Gaddafi has been a, a dictator and a vile person for the last 20 odd years when the British government's been quite happy to do business with him. But you're uh, saying let him go on then? No, I'm saying that there should be a really strong effort, as strong an effort as sending in e ever escalating levels of military intervention, there should be ever stronger efforts made to actually come to a peaceful political solution where we can actually stabilise Libya for generations to come. That is not part of the policy at the moment. It's got a life of its own. And frankly, I think the British government need to listen to Parliament, have a proper debate, and if we can have a pause on the health service, maybe we can have a pause on Libya too.